Hi, it's Dave Robinson with PlantCoverCrops.com. We're at a uh, cover crop field day over uh, north of Decatur, Indiana, south of Fort Wayne. And we're looking at a field that was uh, oats uh, every 30 inches. And then between those were, uh, were radishes. And uh, you can see the radishes are decaying quite well. Today is March 30th, 2011. Uh, been about 40 degrees with a little bit of snow today and uh, as we're looking uh, at what this mixture looks like we're trying to find roots and as we're digging down through this pit we've gone all the way down finding roots right in the uh, 32 33 inch deep range on the uh, radishes again these happen to be the groundhog radishes and uh, you can see those those have decayed as we saw up here on top but uh, our, we still have roots getting down into that depth and as we come over and look at the oat roots we've got uh, a little more density up here at the top uh, it's not massive like you might find on other uh, cover crops at the same time uh, this had almost no rain uh, from the time it was planted until the time that it died and we still got roots as we track down here also in that 32 to 33 inch deep range. So while it's not uh, dense roots, we still have roots down here. And I think that's the thing that's very important for us as we're trying to build soil, build root depth, and uh, uh, make it where our corn this next year, the crop will turn into a better crop. We can see here, our uh, depth of topsoil is right around six to seven inches is all that it is here. A lot of heavy clay on this soil. And uh, but we're again trying to build soil, uh, build organic matter and to build yield. Again, this is Dave Robinson with plantcovercrops.com. South of Fort Wayne, north of Decatur, Indiana. Uh, Mike Whirling's farm on March 31st, or March 30th, 2011.